John Bird. Oh boy. <laughs> the John Bird saga only uh, only becomes more odd. It's been a while since I last posted. I've been busy. I don't have the time like I used to. I eat three apples a day. I'm a father now. To 30 harvester ants. See, the internet ridiculed my first clock. I had to change everything. I never lost hope though. I saw the potential. This time I would make it right. I would seek guidance. I had to send my clock to someone who knew more than me. John, how you doing my man? Nice to see you again, even in this virtual setting. Uh, all right, check it out. John, John, I gotta tell you that uh, I've been looking at the clock that you sent me and, and that you created, and I think it is incredible. Okay, I'm actually gonna go out on a limb here and add that uh, when I, John, when I look at it, it's, uh, it is honestly better than any drug that I've ever taken, okay? So let's just <laughs> start there. You can only imagine what this clock is gonna do to your brain. Um, okay, okay, and then just a uh, couple of technical details that folks probably don't expect me to be aware of. Uh, I am impressed that you went with the 28 BYJ-48 motors, okay? Those are some quiet motors, okay? But you know, um, there, there, there are a few things that, that you could improve. I'm no clock builder, I'm no clock builder, but uh, wh why, why, John, are you using a, uh, uh, a Raspberry Pi? You could, have, you could have saved some money and, and, and used a uh, NESP32. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to undo <laughs> um, the whole invention. Um, but but have you thought about uh, uh, doing something besides shift registers? Okay, okay. I know it's a lot to think about, but most importantly, John Bird, uh, your clock is amazing. Keep up the great work. Right on, my man. I'm out. Charlie's feedback was incredible. I immediately set up R and D center in my kitchen. was to test the reliability of the motors. I was aiming for 1 million quarter rotations. I was at over 900,000 at this point. Next, I experimented with water. There was a small tank underneath filled with a green liquid. The green liquid was then pumped to the top clear segment above. The last one used a green laser in a series of mirrors to make different shapes. Due to a water spillage, I wasn't able to make it work again. And the lack of funding made me stop these projects altogether. The clock would work like this. There was five main computers, not like this, but like this. The main computer was an ESP8266. It controlled four 18 mega 328Ps. The whole system looked like this and communicated over RS-485. There's two code bases, one for the ESP and one for the 18 mega. There's 28 step remotors. They use 509 steps to make a quarter rotation. I really wanted my clock to be great. It couldn't look like this. It had to look like this.